Hello everyone, this is me Arijit with a new video and in this video we are going to see how you can use one of the USB digital microscopes with Raspberry Pi. Now for one of my project I have just bought this microscope and actually I am using it with my Raspberry Pi for this project. So I thought before the project why not showing you how to use any of the USB micro, not microphones, microscopes with a Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. For this video, I'm going to use this uh, digital microscope. Now, as you can see now, not sure about the name, but I think it is like if you see the customer service email, it is juicen at the date outlook.com. So I guess this is the name of the company. And so actually, in so I bought it from Amazon. So I'll give you the Amazon link. Uh, and actually, I went through different products in Amazon, different microscopes. And I like I found out that this one has really has good reviews. So that's why I went with this one. But any used micro, uh, microscope should work fine. Okay. And now if you see this, uh, if you see uh, with this microphone, we are going microscope, we are going to get this stand. Now the quality of the stand is quite good. And also we are going to get the actual microscope. This is how it looks like. And as you can see, this is a USB microscope. Now a special thing about this USB is you can actually turn it on, you can open it in this way and you are going to get a micro USB cable. Okay. Or you can also use it as a simple USB. So you can actually connect it with your phone using that way. Okay. Now, if you look into the actual microscope, this is how it looks like. And uh, so as you can see, it's such an HD. So it's a full HD microscope. And there is a button using which you can take images. There is a button using which you can turn on and turn off the lights. And basically using this one, you can actually control the zoom. So as you can see, the zoom starts from 40x and it goes up to 100x. And if we just open this part, you see we have quite a lot of LEDs here. Okay, and without the LED is not going to work. So LEDs are very important here. And if we just rotate it in this way, so increase the zoom, you will see the camera comes out like this. Okay, so this is as simple the microscope is. Okay, nothing special. And uh, so, and uh, after that, you can simply connect the microscope with a stand, something like this, and it's going to work. Now, any micro, any digital microscope should work with Raspberry Pi because these microscopes are nothing but some like webcams. So they work similarly to how a webcam works. So you just need to plug them with the Raspberry Pi and it should work. So you don't need to, you don't need to install any kind of like driver or anything. Okay. So it's just like a normal webcam. So now we are going to connect this microscope with Raspberry Pi and we'll see how you can actually get the footage and we'll also see how the footage actually looks like. So as you can see, I have connected uh, the, if you can see here, I have connected the microscope with the Raspberry Pi. Okay, and I have used Raspberry Pi USB 3.0 for this purpose because this light is, this LED is quite powerful. Okay, and you need quite a good supply uh, for this LED. So I have connected with USB 3 and I am using a 3 ampere adapter. Okay, and as you can see, we can actually control the light in this way. You can turn it off in this way. You can uh, give it a, like you can dim it and you can increase the overall uh, light. Okay, now we have connected it and now I also have uh, connected the Raspberry Pi in PNC. Okay, so now let me show you. I already have written a code, so I will show you the code. So this is the code actually. And uh, if I open this, so this is as simple as the code. It's a very simple code. Just we are going to get the footage from the uh, webcam, like in this case, a uh, microscope. But like I said, this just works like a webcam. So if you see, we are using uh, OpenCV for this one. So if you don't know how to install OpenCV, there is a video in my channel uh, installing OpenCV in Raspberry Pi. You can watch that one. So you just need to install OpenCV in Python 3. Then we are simply going to use cv2.video capture. We are using zero here because this is going, this is basically a webcam, webcam kind of thing. And this is the device zero. Okay, the only webcam we are using. So that's why it's zero. Okay. And then infinitely, we are going to read, uh, read the frames from the like from the video vid object we have just created and then we are simply going to show that frame in the screen okay and whenever we press q we are going to quit this is all about the code now let me run this code so let me just go to the folder and with python 3 i'm going to run the code so it's test the pi so now as you can see you can see the footage now let me just zoom out a little bit okay so this is actually 40x zoom so this is a minimum zoom you are going to get 
now we are going to zoom into it so let me find a suitable place so for this place we are going to zoom it okay something like this so now let me zoom it so as you can see it's zooming and uh, Okay, we can see the zoom view, but little zoom out I have to. As you can see here, we are we are getting a very good view from here. So you can see all the components properly and you can also see what is written in the small chip. So if I just so previously I was using VNC viewers to record it. So that's why there was some lagging in the video. I guess you have uh, you have saw that. So now here I am actually like recording it. So basically what I'm doing previously, I was using OpenCV to show it in the screen. Now I'm actually writing the frames in file. So now you can actually see the actual like quality of the footage. And as you can see, the quality is really good here. And in uh, Raspberry Pi, so overall, if you see it in Mac or any other device, there's no difference. So the quality is totally same you are going to get here okay and as you can see if we just zoom into a little bit more then you will be able to also see like the soldierings and all so now you see now we are like another level like we have zoomed into and you can now see like the all the soldiering and like the little details you can see very clearly and even this is not 100% zoom so we can zoom it more actually uh, but at least like from here you can see all the things so basically this is how you can use Raspberry Pi with a like uh, uh, microscope and uh, yeah like this you can also like store the video or you can capture the images or whatever you can do actually so once you get in OpenCV you can do whatever you like. So this is all about this video guys uh, it was a quite a short video and so I am currently doing a project like I said with this microscope so as soon as the project will be finished definitely I will make a video on that. So stay tuned with me and I'll see you in the very next video.